Thank you very much. I'm also couldn't be prouder to serve with this conference and under the leadership of Andrea Stewart-Cousins and Mike Generis. As the finance chair, we take this process extremely seriously. We sat through 13 budget hearings. Some of you were there with us or in your offices listening. We heard from people throughout the state on what their priorities are and what their needs were. We then had endless individual meetings with groups coming to us with proposals, with issues that they needed to make sure were there in the final budget. We met with and talked to our colleagues in the assembly and will continue to. And then we conferenced with our own all 42 Senate members on the various proposals that they made. Shockingly, we have proposals that the governor did not have in her budget. We accept the great majority of her budget, but we recognize that there are other needs. We didn't agree on some things, and so we said in our resolution, we need more information before we take positions on certain things. We did remove some things and say, we think there are other things that are higher priority. And we did come out with a final one house budget that does raise some revenues above where she was and have increases in programs that we know are critical to New Yorkers. And as you already heard, we think the vast majority of 19 and a half million New Yorkers, if they look through our one house and do a side by side, will say, oh no, they have it right. We should try to get there. So that's what we're going to do now is Andrea always says where we are in the process, the end of the beginning, almost yeah, the close, end, to, close the end to the, the end of the beginning. Um, I'm looking forward to debating this on the floor on Thursday, I believe is our target day, and then having broader discussions um, through three-way negotiations with the assembly and the governor to get to the best outcome we can for all 19 and a half million New Yorkers. Thank you.